Hi everybody, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to 8.1 Stoichiometry Excel. So, we should be ready for fun here. We're going to convert reactants into products. We're also going to learn that you can convert products into reactants. You can even convert reactants into other reactants and products into other products. So you should know that this is basically the mathematics of chemical equations, which is converting all kinds of stuff. So I hope you are ready with a periodic table and a calculator. And remember, you should do all of the math that I do with you to make sure I do it right and pick up an extra credit point or two if I make an intentional or unintentional mistake. Making tricycles. Let's say there's a formula for making tricycles. Three wheels plus one frame yields one tricycle. Assuming an infinite number of frames, meaning I get as many frames as I want, how many tricycles can I make with nine wheels? Well, if you get nine wheels, it's kind of a... Duh, I get a third as many, right? So I get three tricycles. Okay? Now, if I wanted to show you how we would show that work in chemistry, we're going to have nine wheels times dividing bar. I don't like wheels. I want to go into tricycles. And I want to have an equivalency here. So one tricycle equals three wheels. Notice how the wheels cancel. Nine divided by three is three tricycles. So we can do it when the math gets a little harder. So what we're going to do, we have a new step. Everything's the same as last chapter that I hope people did well on already. And moles over moles use coefficients. So what we're going to do is going to take grams of KCLO3, turn it into moles of KCLO3, turn it into moles of O2, and turn that into grams of O2. Okay, so we're going to go through moles twice. How exciting. Going through moles once was a lot of fun. Twice should be even more fun. 12.3 grams of KCLO3 times dividing bar. Notice how it's the same. I'm still hating grams of KClO3, so I eliminate it by putting it on the bottom. Moles of KClO3. Grams going to cancel. One goes with moles, and little g stands for go to the periodic table. My periodic table says potassium is 39.1, chlorine is 35.45, oxygen is 16 times 3, which is 48. Add them all up, 39.10 plus 35.45 plus 48 is 122.55. So I go to the periodic table to get that mass of a mole. Now I'm hating moles of KClO3. And remember, I want to go into oxygen, right? I should label what I'm looking for. Grams of oxygen. So I'm going to put gram... Oop, I can't go right into grams because I have to go through moles of oxygen first. So I need an equivalency between moles of oxygen. Sorry, that's grams. I need that and moles of potassium chlorate. Well, looky, looky, the coefficients give me that. So moles over moles, I use coefficients because that's my equivalency. Then I'm in moles of oxygen. I want out of moles of oxygen and go to grams of oxygen. One mole, oxygen 16, but I have two of them, is 32. And then I ask my calculator, 12.3 times 122.55 times 3 divided by 2 times 32. Let's see, that. ooh, that doesn't look right to me. I see what I did. 12.3 divided by 122.55 times 3 divided by 2 times 32. Now, why I said, whoa, that doesn't look great to me, is my answer was 72,000 grams. And I knew I divided by about 100 times 3, so I had like 0 0.12 times 3 times 32, and that didn't seem to make much sense to me. So then I get 4.18, sorry, 4.82 grams of oxygen next one. So again, same equation. All right. This time I have 4.53, and when you have it written like this, it helps a lot. How many liters of O2? And that helps me figure out where I'm going. Okay. Because sometimes we forget, well, is it this one? Is it that one? Is it somewhere else? And this helps. So I know I'm going into moles, but this helps me a lot. 4.53 grams of KClO3 times dividing bar. Not liking KClO3. So I'll go into moles of KClO3. And one mole and go to the periodic table. It was 122.55 from last slide. Now I'm in moles of KClO3, but where do I go? Well, I know I go out of moles of KClO3. And if it says I want to go into liters of oxygen, I can't go right into liters. I need to go into moles of oxygen first. Moles over moles, I need a relationship between those two. And that's a 3 oxygen to 2 potassium chlorate relationship. 
So now I should be canceling these guys as I go. Wee wee, wee wee. And then moles of O2, I want to get rid of that. And then I want liters of O2. Well, I learned before one mole was 22.4 liters. And I learned before to get out a calculator and hope it is my friend. 4.53 divided by 122.55 times 3 divided by 2 times 22.4 is 12.4 liters. Ooh, did I do that one wrong in my calculator? See if you do it and give me an extra credit point because you caught it? Hmm, maybe. Almost same deal, different reaction, much longer. Whee! This many molecules of oxygen react, so here's my oxygen. 5.67 E23. React how many liters of CO2 will be formed. So I'm changing that into liters of CO2. So here we go, 5.67 E23 molecules of oxygen times dividing bar. Don't like you molecules of oxygen anymore, especially when I call you MCI. And I always go through moles of oxygen. One goes with moles and 6.02 E23 molecules of oxygen. So now I'm just liking moles of oxygen. And I don't know where to go. Oh look, I labeled liters. How swift of me. Liters of CO2. Oh, but I can't go right into liters. First, I have to go into moles of CO2. Always go through moles of everything. So you can't go right into liters because I don't know how many liters of carbon dioxide are in a mole of oxygen. So this is balanced for me. Yay. One mole of oxygen, two moles of CO2. Now I can get rid of moles of CO2. And I want to go into liters. One mole is 22.4. So remember how before when I said one always goes with moles? Well, it goes with moles unless you're doing moles over moles for coefficients. But the most important thing to remember is that these are always going to be equal to each other. So calculator, 5.67, second E, 23, divided by 6.02, second E, 23, times 2, times 22.4, is 42.2 liters. 15.8 grams of silver nitrite is added to excess barium chloride. How many grams of silver chloride will be formed? Uh oh, I gotta write it all out. AgNO2 is added to excess barium chloride. Now that excess part might confuse you, um, but that just means you've got plenty. Okay. AgNO2 was given to me. Barium is plus two from the periodic table. Chloride is minus one, so it takes two minus one chlorides to balance that charge. Do 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 do. And I'm going to turn that into something. It tells me AgCl is one of my products. My other product must be barium nitrite. Now I know nitrite is minus 1, and barium is plus 2. So I get that. Now I need to balance. So I have two chlorines on the left hand side. So I'll put a 2 here. It gives me two chlorines and two silvers. I need two silvers. That gives me two nitrites, two nitrites, one barium, one barium, I'm good. So I have 15.8 grams of silver nitrite. I'm actually going to label that here too. And how many grams of silver chloride will form? That's my goal. So now I'm going to be off to changing things into moles. Silver nitrite, one mole, AgNO2. Silver is 107.90, nitrogen is 14.01, two oxygens are 32, 107.90 plus 14.01 plus 32, and 32 is because they have two oxygens in there, 153.91, and I don't like moles of silver nitrite anymore, whoops, but I don't have to leave the silver out. AgNO2, and I'm trying to get into grams of silver chloride, but before I get to grams, I go through moles. And my coefficient is 2 and 2. Now, if you're a math wizard, you might want to go, oh, I can reduce that to 1 over 1. You're right. That's pretty cool. Do it. I already wrote 2, so I'm sticking with it. Then I put moles of AgCl on the bottom and go into grams of AgCl. Here, 1 mole equals 107.90. 35.45 and these numbers again come from the periodic table. If you look at your periodic table for silver and chlorine 
you'll see them quickly. 143.35. Fifteen point eight divided by one fifty three point one times two divided by two times one forty three point thirty five is fourteen point seven grams AGCL. And I think that's it. Woo! Review I'll always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles. Moles over moles use coefficients. Woohoo! You can change reactions of products. You can change reactions of other reactants. You can change products of other reactants. You can change your YouTube channel watching right now because we're done. Toodles.